Hey y'all, welcome back. You remember those potatoes we worked on together a couple of weeks ago? They have eyes now. It's time to get them in the ground. have it stirred up I'm gonna put some of this black cow manure on it and uh, rake it out and then we'll dig some trenches we'll get some potatoes planted Whew. smells like cow manure All right, ground is prepared. Got some trenches dug. Let's get some potatoes in the ground. George, are you gonna help me? This green part right here, that's the part that's gonna go up because that's the part that's gonna turn into our green plant. So we wanna put that cut side down, green part up, or eye part up. All right, you gonna help, George? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take the, you see these ditches that I have dug here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna put our potato in there like that. Now we don't want them right next to each other, do we? Yeah. We need a little bit of space so you can put your hand down and put them about a hand width apart. Too close, that's too close. See how I left a little space? Let's leave a little space like that. There you go, just like that. Good job. Here you go. All right. Can I help you? Sure. 
Okay. See how I'm planting them? Mm -hmm. the, the eye part needs to be pointing up because that's the part that's going to turn into the plant. And see how much room we're leaving? Yeah. Between them? Okay. So that's what we want to do. We just want to go down these rows and put them in just like that. Okay, so here's what we have. I am 95% certain that the spacing between the potatoes on this row is good. However, I think I probably left too much space between the two rows. But that's okay. So now all we're going to do, and then there's George's spacing. Georgie's going to grow us some, some tiny little new potatoes. So potatoes are in the ground. I'm just going to use the rake and just kind of flatten it over. Cover them a little bit. We're not trying to pack them down or anything. We just want to kind of make it even. So in a week or so, when these guys have sprouted, we're going to come back and we're going to put more dirt over the top of the plants when we start to see them. That way they're going to have more room to grow potatoes under the ground, more dirt to grow potatoes, and um, it's going to be good. They're going to make some really good potatoes. So there's more than one way to grow a potato. You can grow them in the ground, but you can also put them in a container. I'll show you what we did last year, and since we have some potatoes left, We'll actually probably go ahead and do that this year as well. Maybe not today because I don't have enough dirt, but a container can be a good way to grow potatoes if you don't have enough space to grow them in the ground like this, or if you don't want to grow that many of them. We've done it before in a laundry basket, which actually worked pretty well. The challenge was that it grew out the sides of the basket. So I think that if I was gonna do that again, I would probably cut the bottom out of a trash bag and line the basket with it. And that way it would allow it to grow up instead of trying to grow out the, the holes. Same thing though, if you're growing in a container, you're gonna let it grow. When you start to see the green leaves, you're gonna cover it over with mulch or hay or um, more dirt something and we're just going to let it keep growing and keep putting a few more layers of stuff on there so if you like what you see give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss anything we got lots of things going on